Hold up, hold up, hold up. We can't just start in Senegal. We got to start from the beginning. I got to give you all the backstory of how we got here. So rewind. So at the beginning of the year, I said I want to bring in the new year in Africa, specifically Ghana. But when looking up flights, the prices were super expensive. So I was like, but God always got away. So in February, Rome attended a business mastermind in Atlanta, where he ended up meeting Ellie, AKA Ellie Talks Money, AKA someone who is Senegalese. And as the year went on, Rome and Ellie got cooler and she suggested we go to Senegal instead. And that's how we ended up here. Rome. Where you at? You know, 17, 17, 18. 18A in you the know, building. Big business in the building, you know. <laughs> headed to Patty. Patty. You know. So the flight from LA to Paris is about 11 hours, and from Paris to Senegal is about five hours. So as you can see, I'm super comfortable. Everyone around me is super comfortable. And I'm super, super ready. <sighs> I'm so ready. Senegal. We are doing everything. Our apartment is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Our car is fly. Did I tell you about the car? You didn't tell me about the car. Tell Listen, us about the car. I got us a Range Rover with red interior. Okay. So that just makes riding around feel better. We Definitely. need a nice car. Definitely. So I want us to go out as soon as we get home. Well, first we're going to go get some fish. Okay. And then I think we should go to the club. Hey, man, we're in Africa. So wrong. <laughs> she, she said she want to go to the club when we get there. She want to get some fish, then go to the club when we land. As a thirty, as a thirty-three year old, you, you ready for that life? You ain't lived this life in a long time. Listen. When in Africa, live life, brother. Live life. I'm be the person to sleep. <laughs> you we definitely didn't make it to the club. <laughs> Just got out the shower. It's like two in the morning. About to, about to take it to bed. It's got a long day tomorrow. It's New Year's tomorrow, so it's gonna be crazy. But uh, see y'all in the morning. <clears throat> All right, let's go. This morning, I'm about to go to the beach. Hey, the look, beach. we we on the app. Hey, look at that. Look at that. Look at what? Look at that. Look at what? Look at that. What am I looking at? That! Oh, that! that. <laughs> I didn't see it here. <laughs> and it feels amazing out here. I'm not gonna lie, it feels amazing out here. I'm just so grateful and blessed to be in Africa for the first time and connect to these roots. Because, man, yesterday I was in Cali. Now I'm in Dakar, Senegal. That is what life is about. Those on this on this thing, Rome trying to wave. He always gonna find the camera, y'all. He a bad bitch, y'all. He, he, he a Mitch, a male bad bitch. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him, posing with them with those uh, Daisy Luke on. <laughs> One of the best things about traveling is this connecting with nature. Like I don't know if y'all know this, but. 
nature's our true luxury, man. So we got to take advantage as much as we can to connect with it. Because God put everything here for us to, you know, to use. The ocean, the stars, the moon. The first GPS was the North Star, so... Let's get out and connect with nature. I'm gonna do that definitely all 2022. I did it all 2021, but I'm definitely gonna put more of an emphasis on it in 2022. And this is just the beginning. After. I'm just so grateful to be here. Jeez. Man, the beach for me always has a way of bringing out my gratitude, and I feel like reflection and expressing what you're grateful for leads to growth and expansion. And I think we all felt that at this moment. How you feeling? I'm just like, as soon as I landed, I was just, you know, feeling great, feeling emotional, feeling, feeling the energy off the, off the coast. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, I'm so glad that I get to share this with you guys, bring you guys here. I'm so glad that, you know, everything is just flowing as it should. You got it, Ellie. All right, here we go. You got it. <laughs> this is you literally my first time ever driving in Senegal. Oh, no, you said you drove before. No, I was driven. Oh, before. makes sense. <laughs> All right. Well, we about to find out today, y'all. <laughs> yeah. Go, Rome, you good, baby? Right yeah. <laughs> All right. We gotta hit that roundabout. Yeah, we gotta hit that roundabout. That's like the first test. So we are at this restaurant. What's this Mello. restaurant called? Mello. Mello. This restaurant called Mello, and we just had a fan. Excuse me. She's been watching yes. us, you know, uh, I for watch your YouTube channel. Well, all the way in Senegal. Yeah. You know, Senegal. you 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 can't you can't beat it, man. Thank you. Wow. Alright y'all, Cam is Cam driving is for the first time in Africa. Everywhere I go, I try to drive, you know. Oh really? I try to go any foreign place. Let me, let me, let me see what it's like. Yeah, you gotta do it. Alright guys, first thing you wanna do when you get to a new place, especially Airbnb, you wanna sage it and follow it with some follow. At least that's what I do. Mm -hmm. so that's what we about to do. And another important thing you want to do, you want to open the windows and everything. When you're doing this, let everything get out. Side up, bless the shady side up. Come on. Fuck Rofo. 2022. Yeah, you gotta bless the shady side up. Sometimes I like to sit in the holes when I do it. No, you don't. Get up. Come over here, come over here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you want to admire the view while you say it. All right. Okay, okay. cool, 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 cool. This is my room right here. So we gonna hit this room right quick. Something is better than nothing. I know somebody gonna be like, oh, you ain't doing it right. Well, hey, listen. Hey, it's better than that. Hey, listen, the energy is in the air. Come on, man. Wrong got the Fendi bed spread. Oh yeah, Fendi bed spread. <laughs> you got the faux Fendi. <laughs> you ain't shit in here, did you? No. All right. <laughs> Can I get your room, Ellie? Yes, definitely. The faux Fendi. Faux oh, Fendi. Apollo and you know get the blessings in, you know. The sage was getting ready to, you know, 
bad spirits. Now we're trying to attract all the positivity. And I love the smell of some Palo. Some Palo Santo. But I ain't gonna bore y'all with doing what I just did, so. Thank God goodness. Goodness. I'm, I'm sorry. I know who room I'm not taking the Palo in. <laughs> So for New Year's, we went to a private party at a house and I couldn't bring in the camera so I didn't get footage, but here's some highlights from my IG story. But the true highlight of the night was this guy. Jin Fu Flu. Yeah, I think that's pretty much how you say it. No. Oh, no, no, no. No. The it's 5 a.m. We just left the first party. Now I think we're going to another party and trying to get some Senegal pizza. Some damn pizza. Oh. We're good to go. <laughs> but it's live out here. People, still people are still out and yeah, people are you saw stuff. when we were leaving someone was arriving yeah. arriving oh yeah oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that nigga <laughs> tall y'all see this <laughs> fight there that's a senegalese yeah senegalese are very tall we are some of the tallest people on the continent fun fact hey, we just in here ordering pizza some pizza for my we're just trying to get to it because we hungry and she naked it what you got? What you got? I got a burger. I mean, burger you're talking about? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I'm gonna say this on the vlog, uh, but don't y'all believe me. Food. I might take a small <laughs> bit of that burger. I'm talking about a small bit. I might have to take it. Oh, that's me. It's pizza. Ooh, that's 6 a.m. 6 a.m. pizza. Leave the club. Go grab a slice. Well, yeah. slice is. We made it back to the crib. We decided not to go to the club, which was the right decision. So, we about to go eat. Mm-hmm. 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 You know, we, we pescatarians, but they talk so much about this burger, like, you know, they don't have as beef. much preservatives. They don't ain't got no preservatives. Um, it's Africa. It's that in means America. Here. So, <clears throat> let's do it. Eating beef for the first time in years. Oh, my God. Well, Wow. I thought I wasn't lying. Wow. I wasn't lying. That's a bomb ass burger. Mm hmm. I thought it was on. That kills the speech. I ain't gonna lie. That may be the best burger I've ever had in my life. That shit's incredible. You had the best and smoothie a, in Senegal? I just, and I just had a bite. Oh my God. Like, that's beef. That's re no, It's really fresh. That's fresh. Now it makes you know, like, those burgers in America taste terrible. Show them the inside of that a little bit. It got. Fries on it. Fries, egg, cheese, and some spicy stuff. We I'm call it. I'm gonna tell y'all one thing. Connie. I don't know how that's coming out, but. Oh my God. I'm gonna tell y'all that much. We got diarrhea. Water butt. This water butt. <laughs> Not this, water burger. Like, water this may be TMI for some of y'all, but it is what it is. I even threw up about four <laughs> times and everything I had, all the pizza, everything came out. Man, since my stomach was tore up, all I wanted was BSAP, which is Senegal's national drink. But I'll let Ellie explain more. It's made from a plant. So you have the hibiscus leaf. You soak it in water for about an hour. It turns the whole water purple. And you add sugar. And another way we really love it is with mint, like BSAP at mint. Period. So good. Uh, you like it? Yeah, 
Yeah. All right. Hold on. Yeah, so I mean, I'm very cultured, and you know, so this. All right. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, it's pretty good. So we're leaving the Radisson, and we were gonna go to the mall, but now we're gonna go home because we still feel our stomach issues a little bit. So we're gonna rest before dinner tonight. We headed to dinner. The a place called Lighthouse. Five de my man. Or that. Walking into the spot. Uh, maintain. You got the fish with plantain. Uh, looking real nice. Uh, fish with the rice. Uh, at the top on the hill. Uh, the car with no chill. Uh, yeah, we on the mic. Uh, whoa, is that some spice? Yeah. Uh, spice in your tongue. Uh, spice looking fun. Uh. <laughs> that be good, yeah. Introduce y'all. <laughs> Uh, Y'all seen Ellie already on this vlog, but <laughs> this is what her plate usually look like. Unfinished food. <laughs> Ellie, tell us what's going on. What, what is it about you and not wanting to finish food? It was it, a big portion, number one. Yeah. It was four eggs. Even at home, I don't eat four eggs. What y'all want me to do? How did y'all eat all that? I mean, we just... I, I told her, I was like, give them a lot because they're men. And she was like, okay. How did y'all finish that? We just used the fork. And, and just, well, you know, Ellie's gotten better. Last night she finished, she finished the plate. Now, now y'all, I want to be honest with you, it was the first time I seen her finish a meal in seven months. So it was, it was a big feat for her. If you're looking to take Ellie out on a date, <laughs> don't pay for the full meal. No, no, <laughs> Yeah, you can actually, you know those restaurants, they give you them small portions. Yeah, go, yeah go, go there. Take it there. Yeah, take it there. You're going to be good to go. You know what? You may not be full, <laughs> but she was. So, today we headed to the Pink Lake. We're going to do some ATVing and some Pink Lake seeing. Y'all need to go to the ATM, I got, I got about 90,000 on me. I need more than that. No, but you will need cash, Ron. Okay, okay. But yeah, it's about an hour drive, so I'm gonna get some of the scenery as we go, but another day in Senegal, another day in the car. I'm just happy to be here in the motherland, in the car, in the car. So after driving for like an hour on main road, our GPS said, hey, we need to bust a right onto this dirt path. And unbeknownst to us, we will be on that path for about 20 minutes. But hey, sometimes you gotta take the path less traveled, right? So let's go. Here we go, y'all. This, this is real. Watch your tires now. Mm -hmm. I know. Sometimes to get to the most beautiful places, you gotta go down the most rugged roads. So after driving for like 15 minutes, we finally hit a fork in the road. Or should I say fork in the sand because there is no road. All I see is sand in front of us. And we had to make a decision. Are we gonna keep pushing forward or are we gonna turn around? Because the main issue is, we don't want to get stuck. <laughs> but we gonna make it, y'all. Just gotta stay optimistic. I mean, the sand and positive. isn't deep. Right. Got momentum now. <laughs> gotta be decisive. I mean, I see car tracks here, so. I've 
ever this been is a detour. Biggest detour I've ever detoured. Yeah. But watch when we come out of it, it's gonna be <laughs> an amazing detour. Hey, look at that. Like, we from. Oh, shit, we are, dude. <laughs> So after driving for like 10 more minutes, we finally spotted some gravel and made it back to a main road. And we learned a valuable lesson. You gotta be smart about things, but stay positive. Be optimistic and you always you always find a way because when you don't panic, you can spot the opportunities. I don't think they should you let can the spot the detours, like you know? And to be honest, we wouldn't have seen this part of Africa. Yeah. Yeah, we wouldn't have seen none of that. And I appreciate that too, you know? It's a, it's a lesson for life. Sometimes you gotta pivot. Sometimes God will make you pivot so you see something different. Give you more opportunities. Oh, he touching cars. <laughs> Buddy, he just touched uh -oh. the car that drove by. But yeah. Uh oh, ATV, we getting close. Uh, <laughs> they out here, they battling for it's, the sale. Look, these two fighting for the sale. He like, come on, no, my way, come on. It, we only can go oh forward. Is this way? So I'm thinking we can go park there first. Oh, well, there's some good shopping you can yeah. do out here too. I'm not gonna talk to him. Ellie, funny. I'm not gonna talk to him. I'm not. No, he is not playing. What they say, Ali? He's gonna take me to the hotel. He wasn't playing. Oh yeah, he was not playing. He was like, can you leave me alone? I was following her first. He was chasing My boy. My boy. I'm assuming that's the pink lake. It looked pink. That's where it went the last time. Oh, now you're there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's nice. It it's peaceful. Nice. Low key beautiful. The wind is blowing. Nice and breezy. Nice little music in the background, nice little vibe. Now that we got through that, <laughs> we got through that detour. That but I told y'all we was gonna make it. You just gotta stay positive and optimistic, was, man. Yeah, it's right. always gonna work out. Okay. It's always gonna work out. This dude been working for the work money. Man. He took the camera, he said, I'm taking the pics. I'm gonna make sure I get my, get my guap. I ain't mad at him. Bro, what we doing? Taking the boat out on the on the pink lake, you know. You rock your pink for the pink lake. Oh, I got the got the pink for the pink. Okay. Ellie. What up? Where no. we at? So right now we are at La Rose, which is the pink lake, and look how pink it is today. Definitely pink. It is came really on a pink. good day. We got we a good day. It don't always look like this. Once again. So y'all, we just did um, some shopping. You always want to support the local businesses, the local culture. Come and spend some of your money, support them. So we just spent about, uh, I think we spent about $50,000. i sorry, my connection is bad, guys. 50000 on some, I got bracelets, I got some paintings for my mom. I got some, I got this car. Nice little car. This is, I like supporting the local I'm artists. Senegal. So now I think we going to do the ATVs. Oh, okay. We supported the boat dude. Got the boat ride. So yeah, support the local business wherever you go. Spend spend your money. Because this is their livelihood. So don't just come and take. Come and give as well. You already know what it is. I mentioned how much I love riding ATVs. So after riding now for like 30 minutes over different terrains, we come around this bend and I see the most beautiful and scenic route I have ever taken on an ATV. And the whole time I'm riding, all I keep saying is, wow. Oh, yeah, and don't get no better than this, y'all.
Riding ATVs on the beach, wind blowing in your plaits. They not moving, but they there. Ha ha. Fade the black on y'all ass. Yo, we are on the beach, going to ATVs. Let me show y'all this. That water is amazing. Wow. Wow. It's our guys. Hey, what's up? Our guys. Killing it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what's your name? Alu. Alu. Okay. Yeah. Bro. We on the beach in Africa riding oh, ATVs man. now. Come beach on, in man. Africa riding ATVs. It don't get no better than that. It feels amazing. Like, like, and once again, I'm on the beach, I start reflecting, and all my gratitude pours out. <laughs> man, I'm just so grateful, man. Thank you, God. Just thank you, God, for bringing me to this continent. Let me see the world. Ain't you so grateful? I'm like, God, God man. He taking us to the main road because we ain't got no signal working. He the MVP today. I ride with this guy. I ride with this guy. We tipped him well. We did it, y'all. Successful road trip. First road trip of the trip. It's an hour drive to Black Rose, see the Pink Lake, ATV. It's fire. Cool. Ellie did it, man. Hey, 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 let me tell y'all about my driving today, all she right? Earned it, I earned it. We did it. You know, I got us here and back safely. Mm -hmm. We drove through a whole sand dune, mm -hmm. and your girl made it happen. It's so a, don't let them tell you nothing about my driving. It's January 3rd, and Rome ain't drive yet. Rome think he ain't going to be driving. Wow, Rome you're going to get some driving in before he Rome leaves. Rome hasn't even driven the car. Oh, yeah, he been in that back seat. What oh, yeah, is no, going he on? driving. On, he he driving. I drive back home. All right, so we done showered up from the Pink Lake, and we about to go to dinner. Um, Ellie said we're going to be leaving at 7.10. It has past 8 o'clock. She's still getting ready. That's what happens when you travel with, with women. You know, you gotta come prepared for this. You know, the time they say won't be the time we actually go. So, you just gotta be patient because if you don't, it's gonna drive you crazy. But wherever we go and eat, I'm gonna eat. I've been having fish every day. I think I'm gonna do shrimp today. Whoa! While we wait though, there's some unreleased shit inside up. Got the white now. Brunch really stuff. Good, Probably, possibly, I don't know. Mm. Then we came with a whole other a bunch of unreleased these, 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 these. We, we brought them all out to Africa now. Come on now. Come on now. What'd you say? I said, come on now. All right. All yeah, right. We gonna come on now. We at Jet Cafe on the beach. Yeah. We about to see what this, what this menu busting on. Like, y'all know I can't read none of that. I'm gonna start figuring stuff out. Bro, what's going on? All right, man, Ella just gonna what she gonna eat. I made a suggestion. I always get that. All right, well, you got a lot of options. You can eat chicken. Oh, chicken doesn't sound good right now. You eat chicken any of the, pick something. Girls never know what they wanna eat. They just never know. This you gonna take two bites life. anyway. This is real life. It's not that we don't know what we want to eat. It's that sometimes our mood doesn't want to eat what we usually want to eat. Like, I've had shrimp the last three days, so I don't want it again. Because then I'm like, if I get Go pizza. Go with the fajita. Get 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 the fajita. Go with the fajita. You mentioned it. And a drawback on it. That's how Get the fajita. Get the fajita, we be finito. That little baby's cute, but they need a jacket on the baby. The sauce with shrimp. And it comes with these potatoes that they didn't bring mine. Out, but they're coming out here. Those some big shrimps. Fire. Some bucks. We got an adventure today. All right, that's enough. Yeah, all right, so y'all, we got an adventure today. We about to hit the monument. And uh, then from the monument, we gonna hit our aunt's house. It's gonna be a vibe, you know what I'm saying? We gonna chill, eat. And then from there, we going to Sally, man. We going to the beach resort. It's gonna be dope. We got a photographer on chill, deck, man. Chill, dog, chill, dog. Your energy on like a thousand. You need to chill out. All right, go ahead, Ken, finish up. Yeah, so today we got an adventure. We gonna go to the monument. 
and then from the monument we're gonna go to her, her aunt house for lunch and then we're gonna go to Sally. Not Sally's where you get hair brought up, Sally, where it's a beach resort. <laughs> <laughs> another another day with shaded side up, unreleased shades on. They got the orange boys on today. You know, I wonder. You know, you ain't gotta always matchy matchy. You know, I got all green on. So I said, let me throw on the orange because mm. orange complements my brown skin. Come on now, come on now. Mm -mm. What 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 you mm -mm to? Be too much for me. <laughs> oh no, I I got way more energy. <laughs> <than that. laughs> oh, ah! <laughs> you get this all day. <laughs> Oh, you, you you drink coffee. You say you want to wake up. <laughs> you about to wake you up. That must be that attire affecting y'all like this. That one little sip. No, no, this is oh, life. life. <laughs> this is early bird energy. Told him his back look like my back, but they said no, it don't. They hating on me, but I let him have it. It wasn't that bad, especially after doing 75 hard. Those steps is nothing, but it's definitely beautiful. Definitely recommend coming and seeing it. But it can get a little hot. But thankfully, we got a good breeze going, so we good. We about to go to the unhouse for lunch now. Gonna eat some traditional Senegalese food. I think we're gonna eat the national dish. And I'm excited, cause I'm a foodie and I love to eat. Ellie, you did good. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. You did good. It wasn't that bad. You guys, y'all saw how fast I came down them steps though? No, nah, I was recording myself talking, telling about what we about to do. I was like lightning speed. Ah. No. Ah. <laughs> ah. This is Cherubu Jen. Cherubu Jen. And then we have a little boulette. <laughs> boulette is a fish mi meatball. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is going to be worth it. We're on the second road trip of this trip. My collar all messed up. We going to Sally, which is like a beach resort town for tonight. So we got us back on these back town streets again. When it was a perfect highway right in front of us, but it told us to turn. So we turn. Yeah, me sit down to the girl, my life be like, yo. Nu vill jag kunna ge tillbaka allt jag inte kunnat ge förut Det finns ingen annan där som kan stå här by my side oh why Sätt ett ur rör på det får mig och dö för det baby För de här jadis jadis De vill ju bara dra ner oss Men du är fett och vanlig Hej! 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 What's the name of the hotel? Lamente. Lamente. So we finally made it. We're just trying to check in. We're in line. Nice little vibe, though. Nice little vibe, though. Nice little vibe, though. Oh, but not that. No, 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 no that's a great vibe. Come back to this vibe. Oh, that messed up the whole view <laughs> right there. Oh, 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 oh. So we had dinner, y'all. And we just ordered our drinks. We had dinner. We got a little passion fruit smoothie. We like smoothies and passion fruit. Mm -hmm. well, that's what we do. Ellie tired. Ellie tired. Ellie tired. Ellie tired. I'm tired too. Come on, man. We about to. We about to. I'm sleepy, y'all. We about to. Come on, man. Oh no! Don't make that. Oh, don't, 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 <laughs> Listen, you know, we're, we become a close-knit family on this trip. <laughs> so it's buffet style, y'all. So I got some curry fish, the national rice, this seafood quiche, and then this 
I don't even know how to pronounce it, but I like it. Look good. Let me try it. In my smoothie can. And I'm about to go in. So this is the room. And Sally. Drip drip. <laughs> but yeah. Bed, comfortable bed. Nice little aesthetic, I ain't gonna lie. I rock with it, I rock with it. You know, we in Sally, Senegal. We not in the car. We decided to take a little road trip. Uh, yeah, nice little, nice little, you know, nice little vibe. Show y'all the bathroom. Open bathroom with an open shower. Toilet. They should clean that toilet, back of that toilet, but it's all right, it's gonna get dirty again. <laughs> Towel rack. Yeah. Nice for one night. Let me see what's up in here. A little closet space. Hang up your stuff. You know, more storage space. You gotta get your international adapter when you come to Africa and Europe and all those places. And a little safe, a little fridge, see if there's anything in here. Ain't nothing in there. So yeah, that's the spot. I ain't mad at it for a night. All right, first and only morning in Sally. And I'm um, about to get some breakfast, go take some pictures, get some content and explore the premises. But it's nice. I'll show you uh, This is right outside the door. That little bag. So today, just got some eggs, some potatoes, some onions, and a waffle with an orange juice. Kept it light. Let's try this. This waffle first. Make sure I don't get nothing on my on, on the drill. Possibly a waffle. How these potatoes? Potatoes taste good. The potatoes. Let's try these eggs. Good eggs. They're a little cold, you know. Mm -hmm. Love them. Good waffle. Try this orange juice before I go get the guava juice. Some good orange juice. Really mess up orange juice. Just squeeze the orange. Huh? I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't really like vlogging. I just like experiencing where I'm at. But I wanted to, uh, wanted to show y'all. Y'all act so I like. I'm gonna do it. I may do more, but I just want to be transparent. How do you want to live? <laughs> I'm doing this for y'all, so please like it. Run up the views. Do what you need to do. Yeah. That'll encourage me to do it more. Right. right now, about to eat, enjoy, and I'll give y'all more content when I'm done. Made it to the beach. Fill it down by the water now. Everything behind me. Rome behind me. The sun still doing what the sun do. That's why I love being by the water, man. It's amazing. Just grateful to be here. I know I've been saying that all vlog, but I really am. That's how you know you're really grateful when you keep saying it. And that's what I want to practice all 2022, staying in a state of gratitude. and out the country you just realize like oh our lives is full with, filled with distractions like we have no time for self-discovery no time to tap into our inner voice because we always just distracted so it's like when you have time to reconnect with nature and get back in tune with everything it's beautiful 
because it takes nothing to enjoy nature. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to sign anything. You just be. And I love that. Because when we back in our, our regular lives, we just be existing, not living. And we don't even tune into, we don't even know what frequency we are. It's almost like the radio, when you're trying to tune a radio and all you're hearing is static until you hear that music. That's what it's like reconnecting with nature and putting away all distractions. And that's what I appreciate most about this trip thus far, this reconnecting, self-discovery, and tuning into that inner voice. So I encourage y'all, get out there, enjoy nature this year, and just enjoy what God created, because he's the greatest artist. Being out here in Africa really showed me that. So, we just checked out. Now we're waiting on this photographer. We're gonna take some flicks. Let's explore the, uh, the resort a little more. Then we're gonna head back to the car. That's the plan for the day thus far, but I'll keep y'all, I'll keep y'all updated. Hopefully y'all can hear me. I'm by the front desk. I gotta wear a mask, I'm by the front desk, so hopefully y'all hear me, but it's gonna be a great day. Cause it's been a great trip thus far. So we doing the photo shoot at the beach and the camera looks crispy, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't necessarily need a photo shoot, but you know, it's here now. Might as well take some flicks. Like it was right, like solid, a whole different vibe than the car. The car is like more of the city vibe, it's loud, but out here it's quiet. It's like more on the outskirts, and it's just a vibe, man. I'm having a good time, and they having a photo shoot time, but yeah. I met him on Friday, the every day. photographer, he yeah. killed every. it today. Shout oh. your, shout your ass. Day, let, me, let me vlog on your camera. I'm getting you, I'm getting you. Let me rock. Okay, Let okay. me rock. Go ahead, go ahead. Alright. Turn it, yeah, you turn it. Ah. Hey! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Hope you hear me. If you can hear me, it's because we are on vacation <laughs> and we are at the beach. <laughs> Alright, my name is George Amos, AMOS, and I'm a photographer based in South Africa, Senegal, and I'm with my friends, Ellie, Ken. And roll, and we're taking some pictures though. Hi. <laughs> and now it's time for lunch. This is what I got: some fish, some potatoes, some rice, and some shrimp dish. I don't know exactly what it is, and I got that passion fruit smoothie again. It's another plate somebody got. About to tear this food up. We just finished eating. We got everybody here. Everybody enjoyed it. You enjoyed it? Yeah, definitely did. Especially them smoothies, man. man those, the smoothies out here are crazy. The smoothies out here are crazy. crazy. Why y'all smoothies so crazy out here? Because everything's fresh. That's yeah. true. And this is the country of Taranga. Exactly. So we know how to treat people well. Hospitality. The women, we are Jonge. Yeah. We know how yeah. to take care of our men. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Period. So when you come here, just know you're going to get treated well. You're going to eat good. You're going to drink well. You're going to sit your feet up. Oh my god. I'm so god. fresh, go. like drinking this. Oh, fresh. I know. That's exactly what I said. Your photos <laughs> fresh. fresh. Your body fresh. <laughs> Everything fresh. Everything fresh. Bro, shut your ass up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, y'all. So we're leaving Sally. We had a great time. I had to change because it's hot. Good morning. Rome's driving this time. Finally, we got him driving. It wasn't by choice, yo. Ellie, how you feel about this? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I am happy. <laughs> Yeah. 
sorry, y'all. I'm having way too much fun with that sign. Captain Michi. All that fun and laughter came to an abrupt stop when Rome got pulled over. Yeah. Rome got pulled over, y'all. Stop. Y'all look at that face. That's a face of a man who is confused and scared. He don't know what's going on. And I'm gonna tell y'all a little secret though, so listen a little closer. I think we gonna have to bribe this cop, y'all. But tune in next time on Dragon Ball Z. Or, or part two. Here's a preview. How much? Just gonna give it 10,000. It's about to take your ID and say we have to go to Central on, and bro. recover it. We headed to Gordy Island. They trying to figure out who's gonna be our tour guide and they, they arguing. All right, welcome to the slave house, everybody. They used to have to walk by. Yeah, exactly. Watch them load up slaves. Like, they not humans. You ready to eat? Absolutely. Woo Middle of the ocean. Now we're going to jet ski. So we got to take a COVID test. Don't want to go home, but got to go home. Every great thing must come to an end. Right now this trip is coming to an end. Alright, so I, I gotta go.